Hello, and this week we're going to talk about how we make some extra pennies from selling our photographs. But before I get on to that, let me just give a little update on my video from last week about making money on the Amazon affiliate program. As someone pointed out, because I'm in the UK, when they clicked on my links and they were in a different country, they didn't turn into their country links so they wouldn't be able to buy even if they wanted to. So the way to do that is to sign up with all the countries on their affiliate programs and then you link them together on your UK one in my case or your US one if you're in the US and you can just link them all up together and then hopefully it works. Maybe one of you will click on my links from Canada or USA or Australia and tell me if the product comes up. Anyhow, let's get on with today's topic. So. When I'm travelling, I like to take pictures, and you can make money from these pictures. Now, I'm not going to pretend that this is an easy way to do it, but you have to start somewhere. And this is by selling your photographs onto um, like Adobe, uh, Shuttle, Shuttlestock, and a couple of others. And I've, I've, I've been using four to see what they're like. And they're really easy to find, so you just go online. So we're going to start with Shuttlestock because this is uh, an easy one to find. But if you just put in the Google search Shuttlestock sell photos, a link will come up and you can just click, click, click on that. And you come onto the contributor page. Now you'll have to sign up um, if you're new to this, but it's very simple. And yes, you can see I've made 28 cents on here at the moment. So to upload them, it's dead easy. You just press the upload button and pick your pictures. So I've been taking pictures of my garden while I'm not traveling. So we're going to pick a couple of these ones of my lilies just to practice with. And you see and it uploads your two items for you. And once they're uploaded, you go to the submit column and you can see there's two not submitted so you can click on those and edit them so you click the photos that you want to edit and you just click on them and then press edit and you can do multiple ones at the same time so if they're of similar or the same picture you know save yourself some time type in a description now obviously you know, spend a bit of time on this and I'm trying to rush a bit here to uh, show you how it's done but you know do that pick a category there's lots of categories to pick from here so these would be oh, let's see let's go with nature it's obviously a photo type It's obviously a photo. The location's optional, but if you're doing a travel one, that's handy to have. And then what you need to do is get some keywords. So use the legacy keyword tool as I've done here. And actually you can use this for all the sites. So it just brings up some usual keywords for you. So you have to type in here what it is. So mine's garden lily. And press search. And then you need to pick at least three of the pictures. So just pick three that look similar to yours. Add them all. And then you copy them. Let's take that green card out. That's a bit weird, isn't it? And the invitation, yes. Yeah, so let's take some of these out that aren't relevant. You can also add in more options of things that you might find more relevant. And it's a good way to well, kind of cheat on your, on your keywords, but also to see what other people are using on theirs. You know, why it, this is quite a long process to do. Like when you've got lots of photos, it does take quite a while. So anything that can help is great. So then you just copy them, paste them into there. 
return, so they save, and save the two pictures and submit them. And then you'll see two assets have been successfully submitted. And then they'll go into the pending months and they'll review them. And then they will either list them or not. And you can go here onto your earnings summary and see how much you, you make. Well, you see, look, I haven't made any this month. But if you click by products, you can see what you've sold. So uh, as part of a subscription, I sold one for 10 cents. Lifetime earnings, great. And then I sold a single one for 18 cents. Oh, like I say, it's not going to make me a millionaire overnight, is it? But it's a start. Now, obviously, I've only got, what, 170 pictures listed on here, which isn't a great deal. And I've only been doing it for a couple of months. But the more you get on there, obviously, the more likely you are to sell them. And as we always say, Every pence helps, so just making a few pence will help. Right, let's look at another one now. So we'll keep those keywords up and we'll look at LMA. So LMA is, they list all of them down here. Now this one's a little bit different to do, but you can upload here photographs, click next. You can upload other media, but we're just gonna do the photographs for now. Upload the images, we'll do the same too. And upload. Now, title this submission because when you finish loading it, you can't actually edit the pictures until they've gone through their quality control. And they'll process and they'll wait there until they've checked them and check that they're up to their quality. Uh, it usually takes about a day at the most. These are all the ones down here, like these ones. I failed. My pictures went up to scratch. But then on, the, on some of the others, they've been fine. Now, when they've been approved, you can then edit them. So they'll come on and they'll be not optimised, so they'll not be on sale. And this is when you click on them. So like you would click select all past and then on the right hand side you would add in all the details. So like you can see for these, uh, Calatia plant for the house or garden or elephant ears as it's also known, add in tags and on the, which you can again copy from here, make your own. And they also have an optional tab. Now on here, you must also click 10 to be super tax. Fill in the details, so optional though. There's no people in the picture. You don't want people in your picture. Oh gosh, that causes hassle. No properties, location. The date automatically goes up anyway. Plants and gardens, and that's about it. You can pick a secondary category if you want, and you save it. And you wanna keep making the edits until you get it on sale, optimized, and it's discoverable, and then it's on sale. So it's pretty easy, actually. Now we come up here to my dashboard, and look, you can see, I've made one sale on this site, and I made $4. $4 on one picture. Alamo is quite good, isn't it? I just need to get more pictures approved. I've got 481 on here, I sold one. Um, but still, that's quite good, isn't it, $4? So imagine if I can just get some more up, we can uh, make better money on it. So they do pay better than uh, Shutterstock. And this is the picture that I sold. <laughs> it's of the toilets at Ephesus in Turkey. There you go. You just don't know what people are looking for, do you? So it's always worth having a go. So now, now let's look at dreamtime.com. So you can see here, I've got 463 uploads. I've made $1.05 in revenue. 
Anyway, you click the upload. Uh, we can see I was looking to see if I could find a subscribe button on here at some point. These are all the ones that I've uploaded already. And if you scroll down, you can upload content. And the same as before, just drop the files in here. So we'll work with the same two. Now you'll notice it said I had 6,939 6, uploads left this week. Well, even I can't go that far. So it will load the images up for you and then you can edit them. Now you can only do them one at a time on this, which is a bit of a nuisance. Although you can autofill from the last one. So you can see, I need to take autofill off for a minute because uh, this was the last one I did and it's autofilled it, which I don't want it to do. Anyhow, let's uh, change all of this. Or if you go to the next picture, obviously be blank. So just start from there, type all the stuff in. Here you need to write a description. Now I do suggest you spend more time putting them in than I'm doing now. Because obviously you want to make it searchable. Yeah, that one. That will do for now. Then next, choose categories. So it'll be nature for this one. It's the nearest one they have. And then select a subcategory, so plants and trees. Then add in your keywords, so copy them from where we cheated before. And then you submit. You can choose whether you want it to be just for editorial purposes or if you are loading exclusively here, you get paid more if you are loading exclusively onto a particular site but that's it then you submit it and that's been submitted now we're on the second picture so I put the autofill back on and it should just copy them from the last one there we go Now you can see I've got a yellow face there, so I really do need to write a bit more in there. Make it a bit longer. And so there you go, you see, then it will go green. And submit. Then once you've submitted them, they're going to under review, and it says about twenty hours. It's usually quicker than that. But uh, if they're approved, they'll go straight into the library and be up for sale. Now these are the images that I have at the moment and that I have sold. So you can see, I've sold three for thirty-five dollars each. Interesting that they're all of the same place as. The, as Alame, where I sold it for four dollars. And the final one that I've been working on is Adobe. So let's go to Adobe. So that's contributor.adobe.com and just go on there and upload files. 
same two. So you can see that like the uploads are very similar on all of them, but actually completing the details is, is something else. So it can be a little bit fiddly. Anyway, so you can multiple select here. So you're going to make changes to both of them at the same time. It's the photo, category is plants and flowers. I'm writing in English. It's not just for editorial content. I haven't used it with AI tools. Make sure you put no people or property in there. Now, the, issue, the reason why you put that in all of them is if you have people or property in your pictures, you have to have a form from them giving you permission. So it's very difficult when your site seems to not have people in pictures, but uh, they'll only reject them if you don't if you have them in there. So just put no. And here we go, and we'll paste our keywords in here again, same as before. Include in submission. Right. So when you've put all those details in, you save work and then you can submit those files. Now you've done that, they'll have some extra keyword suggestions. If you want to add those in, add them in as well. And then when you've done that and you're happy, save it again. Before you submit them. Click the boxes on the terms and conditions. the cat images and it's always cat images oh. sometimes you get this as well just write something in there at least five words long And there you go, submit. Now the submissions will then sit in this folder until they review them. And it can take an awful long time with Adobe. And then sometimes they only review a couple of them. So it does take time, but once they're there, they just get dealt with, so just leave them. And I have Sold free on here, um, two of turkey and one of in Chile in the Atacama Desert, and I've made $2.41. So, Adobe seems to pay better than Dreamtime and certainly Shutterstock, but there we go. And you can go on here and uh, have a look when they sold. Now you can't actually take your money out until you've made a certain amount. I think it's $25 or something on all of them. But um, we're just starting off on this. We haven't got that many pictures loaded. We need to keep doing it. But it, like I say, it is a bit time consuming. But once you've done it, those photos stay there forever. So if they can make you money in the future and you've done the work already, it's worth it. So if you take pictures of interesting things, it's wildlife, gardens, plants, cars, Anything really, you could sell them on here. Easy. 
just another little way to make some extra pennies for when, when we need it. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. Um, I've got a load more to load, as you probably saw at the beginning, so I'll get on with that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye!